Book 12.2 The Biggest Dump in the Land This is where you get into the biggest dump in the land. The Slinx has come to this dump so that he can play a trick on the fuzzbuzzers. But he cannot get in because the dump is all shut up. The Slinx is asleep at present. You cannot see him because he is sleeping in the big yellow box next to the two dust bins. The Slinx creeps out of the yellow box just as the sun comes up. He has slept well, so he is fit and fresh. He goes across to the big metal padlock, grabs it in his hands and gives it a pull. It is stuck fast. He cannot shift it. The slinks is upset. He has to get into the dump if he is going to get on with his trick. And he must get in fast because if the men come to unlock the dump, they will catch him. The slinx picks up his things. Then he goes back to the top of the hill. Now he can see all of the dump. He can see why it is called the biggest dump in the land. It is very, very, very big. At one end of the dump, there is a big chestnut tree. Now the slicks can see how to get in. He jumps up and down with happiness. The slinks runs across to the tree. He goes scrambling up the thick trunk. Up and up he goes to the very top. Then he creeps out until he is standing on the very thinnest twig. He grips the plastic bag in one hand and puts up his umbrella. Then he bends his legs. He's going to jump. Down drops the slinks. His umbrella helps him, so he has a soft landing. He has got into the dump at last. He claps his hands and does a little jig. <coughs> now he can get on with his plan. But first of all, he must get well hidden so that the men will not see him. The slinks gets up onto a stack of scrap metal. He can see that the dump is full of junk. There is masses of it. He cannot tell what some of the scrap is because it is so bent and twisted. But he can see brass beds, baths, sinks, metal drums, bells and gas lamps. And there are lots of vans, trucks, buses, trams, caravans and taxis. The biggest dump in the land has everything. Next to one of the vans, there is a bent up dustbin. The slinx goes across to it and creeps in. He lifts the lid a little so that he can just see out. Somewhere, a clock dings. It is seven. The men unlock the dump and they come in, but they do not see the slinks. Now the slinks can see what jobs the men do. One man gets into a cab. His job is to lift up the very biggest bits of scrap. He runs a big electric magnet. He drops this magnet onto a minibus. He switches it 
on and the magnet sticks fast. Now he lifts up the minibus and swings it across to a big press. He switches off the magnet and the minibus drops into the press. Crash! The next man pushes a button on the press. Two big blocks of metal flatten and crush the minibus. Then all that is left of the minibus comes tumbling out of the press. It is just a little box of solid metal. The magnet picks up the box and drops it onto the back of a truck. The men crush up more and more scrap until the truck is full of little metal boxes. The truck fills up with petrol and sets off. Just then, the slings gets a shock. The magnet is swinging across to his dustbin. Will it pick him up and drop him into the press? If it does, the press will crush him flat. The slinx is trembling. Down comes the magnet. But it just misses the slinx. It picks up the van next to the dustbin. The slinx grins. The press will not flatten him just yet. Thank goodness. At last, the men pack up. They switch everything off. And now they are ready to go. Click. The padlock snaps shut. Now the slinx has the dump to himself. He jumps out of the dustbin and stretches his legs. He writes out a list of the things he must collect for the next bit of his plan. The slinx is rushing to collect things as fast as he can. He stacks them up and crosses them off his list. What is he going to do with them all? Now the slinx gets cracking. He has to connect up all the bits. He must not miss one little bit out. Everything must fit. The slinx gets very hot, but he will not stop. First, he cuts up the bits of metal, then he welds them. The slinx will not rest until he finishes the job. The sun is going down, but still he will not stop. He goes on and on and on. It is difficult for him to see what he is doing, but he will not give up. The thing is getting very big. The slinx has to fetch two sets of steps and a plank to stand on. At last, the slinx fixes on the very last bit. He has come to the end of the job. Can you see what it is? Now, the slinx can sleep for a bit. Questions. Question 1. Why must the slinx get into the dump as fast as he can? Question 2. How does the slinx get into the dump? Question 3. Why must the slinx get well hidden? Question 4. Write down 10 things the slinx sees in the dump. Question 5. What does the slinx get into? Question 6. What is the first thing that the magnet picks up? Question 7. What happens to the minibus? Question 8. Why does the slinx get a shock? Question 9. How does the slinx connect up the bits of metal? Question 10. Why must the slinx 
stand on a plank.